Welcome to another Gmail tutorial. Today we're going to be covering how to create and work with folders or Gmail calls them labels. So uh, your inbox can sometimes get too cluttered to have too many emails in it so it's a good idea to organize it by creating folders and sorting your uh, emails into those folders. So on by default on the left hand side you have a uh, a few of your important folders and then if you click more you have some of your other uh, important or other uh, you have the rest of your folders now um, I want a little more room so I'm gonna uh, collapse this phone call setting so that I can see all the options that are here on the labels now notice that we have uh, if I collapse that we have these in important ones, uh, inbox, starred, sent, and drafts, which are automatically here. And then there's also this label that we created, uh, or that Gmail automatically created when we imported all of our emails from the Yahoo account. Now, uh, right now that's up here, but if we wanted, we could take it, grab it, and then drag it down into this area right here, let go, and then now it's going to appear uh, under uh, under these uh, less important um, ones so that when I collapse it it's now stored in there I'm not seeing it up here so in the same way if I wanted it to be up here I could just grab it and I could take it and drag it up click to let go and it's now back up where it was so that's a way to um, kind of uh, if you have several folders that uh, or several labels that right now are really important you can drag them up there and they'll show above this uh, more or less tab and as they become less important and this area gets more cluttered you just drag them down and let them go into the uh, the less important um, uh, labels so uh, that's a little bit of how to work with it um, let's say uh, but we, we need to know how to create them and edit them. So right here we have manage labels and create new labels. So we can get to the manage label, we can get to these two by clicking on these. Let me show you what it looks like if we click on manage labels. It takes us here. If we go to create label, it just opens up this dialog. But uh, back in inbox, I want to show you another way to do that. You can also click on settings, go to settings here, and then just click the labels tab. When we um, clicked on manage labels, what that was doing is those two uh, options where we go to settings and then click on the labels tab. That was doing those two steps in one one quick button. So here we have our uh, labels and notice each one of it next to it it says show or hide. Now the show means show above this uh, bar right here. So you notice that right now the star it's showing. If we wanted to move it below here from this area we could hit hide and notice that the star moved from here down to below it so so that if I collapse this the star is now hidden. So I'm going to move that back to the way it was um, and it's the same thing with all of your different default uh, labels and then all of the labels down here that you've created. So these ones are the ones that are, are automatically created in Gmail. Uh, categories are, actually let me show you categories. Under inbox, here are your categories. So by default you have three. If we wanted to add more we could click this and add updates and forums. By default they're not selected. I don't really need them and I don't really need an extra two tabs so I just leave them done. But anyway getting back to labels so that is what these categories are so we can show or hide them uh, or do whatever we want with them and then here is labels that we have created so let's create a new label and it's we'll just call it generic label and we are going to create that one and then it creates it above the above the less thing but let's say we just want to have it down here. So I'm going to bring it down, let it go, and now generic is right here. So I'm going to create a second label because I want to show you the, uh, 
how to how to nest labels or how to get labels within labels. It's like having a folder inside a folder. So this is going to be generic two, and I say I want to nest this label, and then I can choose what label I put this one in. So I choose this one, click create, and now notice that um, a little button appeared next to this generic label, this button right here. If we click on that, we can expand it and we'll see the other label inside it. So this works, uh, this is helpful if you have um, subcategories. So say you get uh, a lot of emails from a business partner and those emails can fall into one of two or three categories. Say if you're in real estate, it would be houses that you're looking at, houses that you've already closed on, or a third category. And you could create three labels and sort the emails from this business partner into each of those three categories. Or if, it's, or if you're using Gmail for college or classes, uh, this could be like one semester or one year and you could have sub subcategories for each uh, for each class that you're taking that semester or that year. Um, so that is how to create labels and then uh, let's go back to the inbox and work with the labels that we have. So for right now I'm going to drag the generic one up here. Uh, let it, I'm going to drag it up here, let it go, so and then collapse this. So uh, notice that when I clicked on it, it went to the uh, generic label, like all the emails that have that label associated with it, but since we haven't added anything to it, there's nothing showing up. So I'm going to go back to inbox, and these bottom two emails, I'm going to select them, and then I'm going to drag them to this generic label. And now they disappear from the inbox, and it tells me that these two conversations have been moved to generic label. So if I click on generic label, there we go. Our two emails have been moved there. I'm going to go back to the inbox, and I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to move it to generic label. So it tells me it's moved. If I click on generic label, it now has those three emails. And if I go back to my inbox, let's do it a different way. Let's say that I still want this email to be in my inbox, um, and, but in addition to that, I want it to appear under generic label. So for that, I'm going to select, I'm going to open the email, and I'm not going to click on the move button, I'm going to click on the labels button. I'll click on that, and then I will add the generic label. So if I click apply, what happens is by default, all emails that arrive are going to be have this inbox label applied to them, but now I've added the generic label to it. So that this email will show up in my inbox, there it is right there, and it will show up in my uh, right here where it says, notice it says that it's in the inbox as well. So that's a way to have emails show up in multiple locations. Uh, and this is useful, say, um, if this is a business transaction that's going on, you want it to be in the, the folder associated with that business transaction, but if, it, if you haven't closed, sometimes you want to keep it in your pending folder or in your inbox so that you know it's something that you're still working on. So that is a little bit of labels in Gmail, and hopefully uh, it answered some questions about how to create labels, how to work with them, and then uh, also um, how, to, how to help you with organization in Gmail. So tune in next time and we'll do uh, kind of a part two on labels and I will see you then. Okay, 